Hello, my planner family. Welcome back to another plan with me. This week, I'll be using my Sweet Honey Bee kit. I wanted to do a shabby chic style kit, but didn't want to use a lot of pinks or whites in it because mostly shabby chics are a lot of whites, pinks, and mints. But I went with blue and yellow, and with little vintage little bees. I don't know if you could see it clearly, but they are drawings of vintage bees. So this is the whole kit I'll be doing. It's going to be a white space. I am not going to do any ombre heart check box in the spread. This is my April monthly spread. The video link is down below or at the top right hand corner. We are planning from March 28th to April 3rd. Let's get started. In last week's plan with me, I tried something new. I tried doing my bottom washi first so I could build up my stickers to the top. So that's what I'm going to do again today. I'm just going to put down my bottom washi. Once that's done, I'm going to work on my sidebar and start building the elements that goes on it. Earlier, I'm going to build my sidebar, so I usually place down my heart checkbox first and then add a header. And then I decide to put a daily spending tracker sticker and I picked orange because it matches the spread and finished it off with my scallop checkbox because I just love my scallop checkbox. As you can see, there's not much room left because I still have to add a header on top of my scallop checkbox and not to mention a daily habit. So I decided to put my daily habit sticker in my reminder section because it has to remind me every day anyways to take my medication. So I'm just gonna place it there instead. And I finish it off with my important header there. So my sidebar is done. Once that's done, I'm gonna start working on my headers. I usually, if it's a no white space, I would start with the ombre, but because it's a white space spread this week, I'm gonna do my headers first. Every time I make a kit, my to-do headers will always have some kind of decorative element, and I just wanna show you how pretty this one turned out to be. Okay, back to my headers. The reason I do my headers first before I do my heart check flags is that my design has a bow on top of the flags and it's designed to actually sit on the header to give that bow a 3D effect. I stop my to-dos on Fridays because Saturday and Sunday is my weekend and it's my family day so I do not want to work on those days because I already have five days working <laughs> so I do need a rest. So next is my midsection which I usually fill it up with my full boxes. Most of my full box sheet will have two quotes in them so you could choose to use one or both of the quotes in your spread if you like. I usually like to put them in the middle of the spread because the eye draws towards the middle more than the side. But there's no rule for planning so you could put it anywhere you like. For me, my preference, I like it in the middle. Now on to the today's section, which is the top part of this spread. I usually start off by placing my meal plan stickers all along the week. So before I start the today, I forgot to do my washi tapes because I like to separate my decorative section with my today section. So here are some washi that I picked out and as always, I have to lay them in front of my spread just to see what matches and what does not and just eliminate it by that. I think these four will work very well. I've decided to use this gold washi in the middle, but then I realized that it will cover the quote. So now I have to remove all the meal plan stickers to put this glitter washi there so it doesn't cover the quote. Just had to put it on top of the full boxes instead of on the full boxes. And now I gotta reattach my meal plan stickers. 
Now, it was on there for a while, so a few of them removed pretty well, so it wasn't permanent, but there was one that kind of ripped the backing off of my sticker, so I just had to add, use my Tombow and glue it down instead. Here you can see me where I'm going to place my other washi tape, but I decided to do that after working on the Today section. Usually my daughter do have daycare on Monday, but because it's Easter Monday, daycare school is closed, so I'm going to use that day to clean the house and do some grocery because over the weekend everything was closed and couldn't buy any food. On my heart flags, I like to add my icon stickers just to indicate what I should do that day. So on Monday, I decide that I should do my nails and laundry. So Tuesday, my in-laws are coming down for a visit during the afternoon and I have to fill out Penelope's school application for a new school and pay a parking ticket. Bom, bom, bom. <laughs> yes, it's just a parking ticket. We read the sign wrong, so oh well. As you can see the top section, the today section, I like to do a no white space for that section. It just feels a bit more complete that way with no white space in it. So for the parking ticket, I'm just going to use a car icon sticker to indicate that. And I also have to mail out some orders on that day too. So Wednesday, my daughter is back at school daycare. And I'm going to indicate it with a little girl here. I realized that also Monday is our garbage day, so I just grabbed a garbage can icon from my sheets and put it on my check flags and another garbage sticker that's in my collection to tell me that it's garbage and not recycling day that day. Okay, back to Wednesday. So Wednesday is a good day because I usually look at the weather before I plan my week out because I do run outside and Wednesday is the only day that is sunny and not rainy and wet and cold so I'm going to run that day. I just put a quarter box down with the flag box because that day I'm going to film something. So before I go on to my second week, I realized I forgot to do the bottom today's and to put some icon stickers in it. So I still have to mail out orders on Wednesday, do a little bit of grocery shop and drop off Penny's application. Now on to the second half of the week. Now with this whole week, I felt that I haven't had any creative day yet. So I'm going to dedicate Thursday as my creative slash design day. And that's it. <laughs> and Friday, my little one Penelope has school slash daycare. So I'm going to indicate that with a quarter box and a little girl with a little school bag, which is super adorable. And Obviously, it's a nice day that week, so I am going to run again. I try to do a run maybe every other day or maybe three times a week, depending on the weather too, how nice it is. Because right now in Canada, it's not nice. It's still cold, it's still wet and miserable. Don't get me wrong, I love my country, I love Canada, but I just I just don't like the weather when it's like this, when it's supposed to be spring and it's not spring weather like. Anyways, I'm uh, back to my weekend. So it is a no white space today section and that's why I have to add some washi to cover the bottom of the weekend banner. And Sunday my in-laws are coming back and they are going to stay over for the weekend till Tuesday. And Saturday we're just going to do a Costco run. So usually weekends are pretty chilled for us. I don't like to plan much on the weekends because I'd rather spend it with my children. But my in-laws are coming on Saturday, no sorry, coming in on Sunday. And I literally did not plan anything at all except for their arrival because I think the kids want to you know play with their grandparents so it's just gonna be a stay at home day for that day so whereas Saturday we do have a date night this Saturday and I'm just gonna indicate that and fill the rest up with my washies box. Once I finish all my functional stickers, I'm going to start filling it in.
so that's all done. I'm going to finish my washi tapes here at the bottom because I feel that, you know, you know me, it's always plain for me. And I want to use this beautiful flower washi right here and I think it just matches the theme so well. So I just cut them into arrows and place two on each end. And then the one in the middle, the beginning washi that you saw is a white and gold polka dot foil. And now I'm just going to finish off my spread with some decorative stickers. And I'm done! Oh my god, can I tell you guys that I am so in love with this spread? Like the colors, I just love the colors. And it just makes me feel like it's spring and happy and with a little bumblebee buzzing around. And this is my super favorite part is to put it back into my planner. Thank you guys for watching and I know I still have to do the giveaway video and I know for the past three videos I've been saying that. But I'm still waiting, I'm still waiting for the items and it's just oh so sad because everything is coming from the States and I think it's stuck at the border at the customs so I just, I, all I could do is just wait. I'm planning to do another plan with me video maybe by the end of this week because it is for this week's, if that makes sense. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this video and please give it a thumbs up if you do and if you have not subscribed, please do so that it will notify you when my giveaway video is up. Thank you guys for watching again and happy planning. Bye!